Do you know a Jamaican? Are you a Jamaican? Well, if you live with a Jamaican, if you work with a Jamaican, if, if the Jamaican is your neighbor, come on your church, anything. As long as you interact with a Jamaican, this is a video for you to watch. I will introduce you to a few more of our Jamaican proverbs. And of course, you know that our Jamaican proverbs are little conundrums that we use to get on in our lives, daily lives. It teaches us a lot of lessons. And it comes down from grandmother, great-grandmother, grandfather, you know, village people, everybody, community, church, everybody. So once you're a Jamaican, stay tuned. Like I said, right, in Jamaica, we use our proverbs as teaching moments. If you want to interact with any Jamaican whatsoever at some point in your life, you will come across some of these proverbs, right? And sometimes it's easy for you to understand and sometimes uh, you don't have a clue what is being said. And if you're like me, growing up with your you know, mother in the country and grandmother and you know, whole heap of village people around you and stuff, you would be exposed to a lot of these a lot of these proverbs now we tend to what should i say lighten these proverbs or use these proverbs in relation to animals insects you know it's like everything have one dog one bird a nancy one spider or frog cow something you know but if you take them literally you probably will never ever get the true meaning and understanding of what these proverbs are about so um let's see if we can talk about some that has to do with 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 animals right um mm -mm -mm. let me think about one there are so many there are so many let me think and come back so for some strange reason we just have a total blank out right this all right but here we go so one of these you know proverbs using animals this is this one is going to be with an ant and it says if you don't mash ants you can't find him gut if you don't mash ants you can't find him gut if you don't smash an ant then you will not know what it is made of you understand you will not find its stomach <laughs> and i'm sure you're thinking about okay and stomach mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay but it's really talking about if you don't get close to somebody then you really cannot know what they are made of you really cannot know the kind of person that person is you really cannot know what takes that person off or make that person that just go over the edge if you get what me i say if you know much answer can't find good and also if you don't provoke a person if you don't push a person provoke a person to their limit then you will not know the extent of that person's fury. You don't know what them can do. You don't know how them can react and, you know, the extent of their reaction to a certain issue. And it can be positive too, because sometimes it takes you smashing an ant for you to bring out the best in somebody, for them to recognize their true potential. So if you don't mash ants, you know, find him gut. This next one is quite a very popular one too. It's a chicken Mary, heart me near. Chicken Mary, heart me near. So while the chicken is happy, carrying on, no care in the world, just going about in you know business and stuff, I pick pick all the place. You know, totally oblivious that the hawk, you know what the hawk is, the chicken hawk is. Yes, we'll just snoop down and just or swoop down and just pick that chicken up and that's the end of that chicken so it is really saying to us that you know despite you know the the, the happy times you know you may just be in a situation where you're just happy no care in the world just having fun you have to be cognizant that danger lurks in places where we least expect them so while you're there having all your fun have your fun but Find some way to keep some level of sobriety, to keep some level of awareness, to be alert, to understand that when all is said and done, you can't just be happy, happy-go-lucky, just like along about the place, so, and not aware that there is danger that is possibly lurking. So, 
Chicken Mary Hawk Lanier. And of course, this one is one of my favorites. It's something my mother would use to me. <laughs> enough, enough time. So for example, you know, when you're, you're little, you're a teenager, you think you're smart, right? Think you're smart and you walk up on the streets, go meet your friends, and you're really not schoolwork, you know. But yeah, tell your mother. Well, me, I tell my mother, say, boy, mommy, I have such and such to do. I need to meet up with such and such in the town. We're going to go to the library. We have this assignment to do, blah, blah, blah. Now, my mother didn't know, said she never hear nothing about no assignment. Days upon days. But all of a sudden, now, Saturday come round, me I tell her, say, I have library to go. She said, no. You know, me not take no for an answer. So me, I find all the reasons why I need to go to the library. I need to go, you know, hook up with these classmates because if we don't do the assignment today, we now get no grade. And if I don't contribute, then I'll be left out of the group. And you know, it's school and we find all these things, all these reasons to tell my mom why she should allow me to go to the library. And she just look for me and say, hmm, you tired level ground, you know, you can't hang. So even though this doesn't have like a, the name of an animal in Jamaica, we tend to tie our animals like cows, goats, sheep, you know, we tend to tie those into the pastures. So, them say, if you tie down this so, you're not supposed to be so easy to hang because you're on level ground. <laughs> you're not up so, let me not get into that, but you're not tied up high where it's really possible for you to execute, you know? So, them say, my mother say your tire level ground you can't hang. That means say, no matter what you try to tell her say, that will not influence her to undo her decision. Because you know we always want like we smart, but parents tend to be a step ahead of us <laughs> so many times. So many times. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Please remember, hit that notification bell just beside the subscribe icon so that you're always notified whenever I upload videos like these or any other personal videos or entertainment or travel or food videos that I will be uploading. Be sure to check out my other awesome videos that I have. I will be sure to leave some links in the description box. You can just go ahead and click on those. Feel free to comment your favorite proverbs down there so in the comment section and whatever other meanings you may have to the ones that i have shared with you today feel free to express those also be safe